Let's start looking at my CD singles. everybody and welcome to a first in a number of videos where I look at my CD singles. So CD singles, love CD singles. I think they're the best format that singles have come on. Um, sorry, the cats. Be being a cat. Um, so apologies for any disruptions. The heyday of a CD single was just brilliant. Um, you know, you get your a song that you liked on it anyway and you get loads of bonus tracks as well be they otherwise unreleased tracks remixes live tracks all sorts of goodies sometimes you get the video on there as well if you, you can watch on your computer um they did ruin it slightly as the chart company started introducing more rules as to how much could be on a cd single originally it was you know help yourself put whatever you like on it but then they limited it to a, a time limit I think it was 20 minutes maximum um, then they limited to a number of tracks I believe at some point one way or other before or after then and the number also the number of CD singles you could release went down I think some people were releasing three or four different CD singles then it went down you could only release two um, but yeah, format I really loved. Most of these are my favourite artists and I would get all their CD singles. There's a few random tracks where I liked the track, but most of them are collections from my favourite artists. Uh, these have been on my windowsill, which is behind the camera, which is why I went like that, for at least 10 years. In that time, the sun's got at them, so some of them are a bit faded, some of them are glues melted, one of them I noticed the whole package is just disintegrated. Uh, also in that time, all three of the cats I've had in that time, including Willow to my left, as she is, looks like she's settling, um, have been rather partial of climbing up on top of them and lying in the sun. So they're covered in cat hair, they're covered in dust and they're sun faded, but so be it. Anyway, enough waffle. Uh, first up, we have Robbie Williams' Let Love Be Your Energy. Uh, this is a limited edition version. And this contains Let Love Be Your Energy, which is from the um, Sing When You're Winning album. Then My Way Live, which was from, was that from the Albert Hall concert? No. It was from the Manchester Evening News Arena concert that was televised but has never had a full physical release, although excerpts of it are on one of his DVDs. Um, Rolling Stone, which is a brand new B-side, or bonus track, and then it's got the film of My Way as a CD-ROM as well. Uh, Rock DJ, and this has got obviously Rock DJ, Talk To Me, which is an exclusive bonus track, and the Player One remix of Rock DJ. This is quite interesting. Uh, this is United, and this was a giveaway with Pepsi. So you had to collect a number of ring pulls or bottle tops or whatever it was. I can't remember now. Send them one ninety nine postage and packaging or something like that. And you received this in return, and this contain this is an exclusive track. It was um, used in the adverts. Uh, so it's got United, then an Apollo 440 remix of it, and then a CD-ROM interview. But yes, yeah, good song that's not available elsewhere. Basically, I've just picked a pile at random, so most of them are roughly alphabetical. Apart from where I've taken them off the shelf or where they've fallen, been, I say fallen, been knocked off the shelf at various points. Um, so more Robbie. This is She's the One, It's Only Us, uh, which was a double A side. She's the One was the one that was mainly promoted. Um, it's Only Us was from, I think it's from a FIFA game. 
Uh, and track three on this is Millennium Live at Slane Castle, which is a gig I was at. And then it's got the video for Shoes for One on it. And then this is the second CD for that, and it's reversed it, so it's only us as the lead track on it. And the third track is Coke and Tears, which is an exclusive B-side, or bonus track. I've, I shall use those terms interchangeably. And this has got the video too, It's Only Us on it. Uh, this is, this was another double A side, this was No Regrets, and it was backed with Ant Music, which was, I think it was from the film Ants. Does it say on here? No, it doesn't look like it does, but it's, it's the cover of the Adam Ant track. And then the B side is Deceiving is Believing, which again is an exclusive B side. Uh, this is the other No Regrets single. Uh, and this is back with There She Goes, a live version, which is the last track. Um, he did it live in his early concerts. And a demo version of Sexed Up, which quite a few years later, two albums later, uh, a full version of that was on the Escapology album. This one's got a bit stuck together. Uh, still with Robbie, we have CD1 of Millennium. This is a limited edition postcard pack, which are inside. Uh, B-sides on this are a demo version of Love Cheat and a demo version of Rome Munich Rome, both of which never appeared anywhere else. Uh, this is Strong, and this contains uh, Let Me Entertain You recorded live at the Brit Awards on both audio and video, and Happy Song, which is an exclusive bonus track. Uh, this is CD2 of Millennium. Uh, this contains the original version of Lazy Days, which has different lyrics to the album version from his debut album, and a live version of Angels. Okay, this... I've shown very recently, uh, if you've watched the video, I have this. I picked this up in a charity shop for 99p. Couldn't quite remember whether I already had it. And then I realised that I did. Um, but this is a Japanese release of Angels. It's a combination of the Angels CD singles. Well, all the single, various B-sides that came with Angels in all its formats. And just let me entertain you as well. So I won't go into any more detail on that one. Okay, away from Robbie, uh, a Divine Comedy one. So this is Everybody Knows Except You from a short album about love. Um, all the B-sides for this came from, because this I think there's three CDs on this. Uh, they all came from a short album about love was recorded a concert at Shepherd Bush Empire with a full orchestra. I actually recorded it in my sound check, but then overdubbed it with some tracks from my main concert um, to cover fluffs and what have you. But the tracks that weren't on a short album about love, the old tracks and the covers, we use as bonus tracks. So this has got Make It Easy On Yourself, the Walker Brothers track, a drinking song from um, Promenade, or Promenade, Promenade, and something for the weekend from Casanova. A uh, bit of Bowie, and we have Survive from Hours. I really like Hours as an album and the tracks from it, I really like Survive. Uh, this has got the Marius de Vries mix, the album version, and the Stigmata film version of A Pretty Things Are Going To Hell, and it's also got the video for Survive on it as well. Uh, back to Divine Comedy, and um, this is The Frog Princess from Casanova, and Again, I think there's two CDs on this one. Uh, bonus tracks are a demo of something something before the weekend, which is a demo of something for the weekend. Neptune's Daughter and Tonight We Fly, which I think were live versions of tracks from Promenade. Yeah, Neptune's Daughter recorded live in Newcastle. Tonight We Fly is just says mixed by, I can't remember what version that is then. Uh, but Will Young, this is Light My Fire, really liked his cover, it's based more on the Jose Feliciano version than the um, Doors version. But I really liked it, so I bought it. Uh, B-sides are Ain't No Sunshine, the cover of a um, 
Bill Withers track, and Beyond the Sea featuring the Big Blue, which I think was an orchestra. Um, the yeah, um, the Bobby Darin track. Uh, onto some Pulp, and um, this is Party Hard from This Is Hardcore. Uh, B-sides are We Other Boys and The Fear, the complete and utter breakdown version. I think We Other Boys is an exclusive B-side and The Fear was a track on This Is Hardcore but this is a remix of it. Uh, we Other Boys is in on the Velvet Goldmine soundtrack. Uh, Blind Melon, one of my favourite bands. This is limited edition part one of a two CD set but I've got did I put them both in here? Yeah, it was one of those ones where you could buy part two, but the case for part one was a double case, so you could add it in. Um, so this is for Galaxy, which was from their third album, which is from their second album, uh, Soup. Um, so this contains Galaxy 2x4 and Change, and then CD2 had Galaxy Wilt and Car Seat God's Presence. They're all tracks that are on the album. Uh, the Darkness, this is the DVD single for Christmas Time Don't Let the Bells End uh, and it contains a video for it, the audio for it and a video of I Believe in a Thing Called Love live at Nebworth which is I think when they were supporting Robbie Williams so I, I saw one of the three gigs can't remember if this was filmed at the one I was at Uh, back to Robbie. This is Sin 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 from the album is title I always forget, Intensive Care. Uh, this is an, another DVD single. So it's got the video for Sin 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 then it's got Our Love which is an exclusive B-side and I can't remember if it's the... yeah no it is a Robbie exclusive. Uh, Sin 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 Chris Coco's on tour mix and then making of in the photo gallery. The only problem with DVD singles is that you couldn't rip the tracks. Although I probably can now. Thinking about it. Uh, this is Love Light from um, doing well. Rude Box. Uh, this is a two track single. Expect to pay no more than two pounds. Um, the second track is Mess Me Up, which is another exclusive B-side. Uh, onto the Supernaturals, who I sort of discovered when they supported Robbie Williams first time I saw him. Really liked them, so I went back and got as much of their stuff as I could, including B-CD singles you're about to see. Uh, so this was I Wasn't Built to Get Up, and the B-sides are Star Wars and Bubblegum Hill, which are both exclusive B-sides. And um, this is, that was CD 2 of 2, this is CD 1 of 2. Bonus tracks on this are Robot Song and I Just Can't Go On Like This. And this is Sheffield Song CD1. And the B-sides are I Don't Think It's Over and X Country Song. And this is CD202. Two two. And this is Boys in the Band and Hang Out With You. And that's about it for this pile. That's, the pile's done. It's about the right sort of time, so I'll stop it here. Um, so I reckon there's going to be about seven or eight parts to this, I reckon. So keep watching. Hopefully they'll be up every week. Um, keep an eye on the playlist. Thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in another video. Thanks. Bye. <music>